Hey guys, welcome back to the show. You're watching the Digital Photography Cafe.com. Hopefully, you're looking at live.digitalphotographycafe.com. And if you are, look at the bottom of the page. You'll see a little button that says enter. Go ahead and click that button and enter to win. All these great sponsors have given us thousands of dollars of prizes to give away. Yeah, amazing stuff. And now we want to welcome Doug Gordon to the show. So, welcome, Doug. How are you guys doing? Thanks doing for having good. me. Good, good to be here. Thank you for Thank having you me. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about uh, what Doug Gordon does. Uh, well, I used to be an adult film star, but unfortunately awesome. it didn't work <laughs> out. But I decided to go into the photography industry. Excellent. I wanted to be behind the camera. Yeah, not it's just too many fans. Um, <laughs> I've been photographing weddings for almost 22 years now. Started with my parents. Uh, and it's just great business. You know, my studio, we're based out of Long Island. We do a little bit over a thousand Long weddings. Island, I never you liked it, right? That's a nice accent. <laughs> yeah, I never Long Island. Guessed that. I'm, from, I'm from New Jersey. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, you're from a calm area with low taxes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Not like New York. Like, yes. I don't even want to get into it. <laughs> um, we have three locations on Long Island. We have one in Orlando. We do a little bit over a thousand weddings a year. So, uh, yeah, yeah I just, I just love brides. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably close to five thousand portraits. So. It, it's a great industry, you know, in the sense sure. of I've been doing it my whole life. I get to see people happy, photograph them. I, I kind of feel lucky because I'm like freezing history in life. So it's, it's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, that's very cool. So you have uh, workshops that you do. Yep. Uh, I've been fortunate. I've been lecturing now for over 14 years. I've been to all over the world and I, I just love it. it. The light goes on when a photographer gets it, when they see what you're doing and see how it can help you. It's just amazing how it works. and. We've been fortunate. I've been here now. This is my 14th straight year speaking at WPPI. Yeah. So that in itself is an honor. Uh, I've been the opening speaker the last five years at the convention here. You know, and it, it's always the best spot. It's so much fun. And to see all the people here, you know, the attendees, it's like taking a child to Disney World. Sure. They're right, so right. wide-eyed. They're so excited. And like one of my favorite things, and I just started this year, is the WPPI U. It is just awesome because right. they come in and they're so new at it they're just soaking it up and so excited there's so much energy and to be able to teach them like I teach posing and lighting that's my real big thing and to see when they're getting it know that I'm making a difference in their life and business you know there's not really much better you can do than that and yeah, just like they always say is teaching it you end up learning more sometimes from the students as, as yeah, you're teaching as no teacher. doubt Absolutely. no Absolutely. doubt my staff when training them believe it or not the way I train them is I make the model for me on these on these things. I don't go out and hire professionals. I take them and say, listen, you're gonna model because you're gonna get it. When I was training, I worked under legendary photographer Monty Zucker, who a lot of people don't remember, but he was kinda the reason this conference came together because he, he was iconic. And I didn't get what he was doing until he photographed my wedding. And I was already training under him for 10 years, but when he photographed my wedding, everything clicked. So it's good because you get a feeling. If you feel it, you can right. do it. Right. Big you can time. actually see it happening. And whenever you see something, a professional doing something, the actual act of doing it, you learn much more than you would from a book any day. No doubt about it. Like even here now, like they're watching at home. I know that I'm not lit good. You know, and the sure. reason I know is because I can feel it. You learn to feel it. Like I feel the light directly coming from here and I feel it so broadly hitting me. My right. face looks huge to them. So I'm turning to you because okay. I look better. Now I got perfect lighting, short lighting to the camera. I'm not looking at you anymore sure. because no, that's I need all I the good. minimizing I can get. <laughs> just screwing up my we're, lighting. We're Come over here. In. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, the education here is just insane. I mean, with 90 platform classes plus all the master classes and the plus classes, I mean, the, the people that have been going up and down those escalators to and the, to the classes is, is insane. Well, it's just they, amazing. I think they were saying over 14,000. Over 14,000 people. And you're right. The classes here are spectacular. You know, I, a lot of them I've become friends with. But now this year, I saw more new talent coming in yeah. in terms of speaking and lecturing. There's so many people out there who are great photographers that are now finally saying, you know, I can help someone. Sure. I can right. do it. But you can't forget about the parties. Some of these yeah. parties, been a, I don't go out and I don't drink, thank God, but I just like watching. I'm a people watcher, so watching these people stumble out of here is fun, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's well, all Ignite good stuff. was a great night the other night. Oh, you it did was a, so much fun. A fun presentation. Thank you. Yes. Um, if anybody knows me at home, they know I like to be naked, you know, and if you want later <laughs> on, I'll go be. topless for you, too. When you look like this, women like it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They know that you don't get it that often, so you got to work hard when you get it. <laughs> 
you know, it's one of those things. I'm sure this will be cut out, but it's all good. Um, but you're right, Ignite was a blast. It's such a great concept. If yeah, you haven't seen it, people should look it up at home. Now, it'll be on the web with obviously the WPPI photo Ignite, but Ignite presentations in itself, it's so challenging as a speaker. I've lectured a thousand times. Um, but to lecture for five minutes right. is yeah. harder And try and get your point across. Yeah, and you have 20 slides, and they're going consecutive over and over. That's why I took the approach I did this on the first year I did it. I walked up, my slides didn't work. <laughs> so I just did a seven minute stand up routine, and luckily it was okay. This year, as you guys saw, I decided sure. to do 20 slides of me naked. Yes. From being all different things, cameras and different I enjoyed spots, it first. with my yeah, friends yeah. Jerry Guionis and Kevin Kubota, it was great. And I, I was I was going to read the Great Gatsby to be honest with you because <laughs> I didn't think anybody was going to pay attention, and I don't think anybody did. They were just floored seeing me in all these pregnancy poses and everything. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. Thank stuff. you. Kevin always does great. such a great job. Oh, right? it's he's, amazing. Yeah, he does a he's great such, job. He's great. So talented. He's so good at what he does, but even more, he cares. He's someone right. I most people don't know about how charitable he is and different things. He's just a real, he's a great, great guy. And I feel lucky. I, we've been friends for a long time. We go on vacations together. I feel lucky to have him in my life. He's just a great guy. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. So tell us a little bit more about your workshops. Where you where you go, where you do them? Uh, well, I'm all over the place. You know, this year, we, we do a lot of workshops around the country and other countries. Um, my favorite workshops, though, is always the ones at my studio because I think it's the best education that a photographer can get when they can come in. Our main studio is 19,000 square feet. So they come in, it's 25 photographers, they come in for four days of intense learning with me, but then we also let them, we want them to come early, we want them to go out on real weddings with us, we want them to sit in on real sales consultation, and we individualize the lesson for them. And some of them stay two, three weeks, wow. you know, because I look at it a little bit differently. The truth is, with the amount of weddings we're doing, I can never staff it enough. We have 32 full-time employees. Now, obviously, I don't want to keep adding employees because then other business expenses sure. go up, whether it be taxes, health insurance, sure. all of those different things. So what I try to do is, one of the reasons I made my educational material and started having these workshops is, if it was one of you, if one of you get good at it, and you start to really get what I'm doing, I could take you from wherever you are and fly you in and you can work for me for the weekend and then I know I get the job that I want. Exactly. Well, if you train them, you know yeah. what they're getting. Yep, we turn down over 200 weddings a year that we can't do because of staffing. Wow. Like, we have some really big days, like example, 11, 11, 11, everybody of course. got everybody. married everybody on it. it. Oh, and yeah. you know, all the normal weekends, Columbus Day, Labor Day, July 4th, we did 26 weddings on 11, 11, 11. Wow. We had photographers. I had a photographer from the UK, I had one from Canada, I had some from California, Indiana, Florida, Delaware, you name it, Texas. They were coming in and they were helping us staff. And the great thing about it is they come in for the weekend, they get paid like a regular photographer, they get expenses paid, and they just have a great time. And once that person shoots for me, they'll never pay for another workshop or a video or anything again. Because the better I make them, the better I am. And we have a lot of them that can't always come in because they've done what I'm telling them to do and their businesses just take off. Right. But I'm looking to train people that I can use when I need them. Because obviously, I don't have 26 weddings every day. I can't even imagine the staff to be able to keep up with all that yeah. <laughs> and to yeah, keep it all funny. straight. <laughs> I have yeah. the best staff in the world. Uh, I pride myself on them because they make me look brilliant. We've been in business 28 years now, never had an employee leave ever, voluntarily. Right. Um, <laughs> but we've never had an employee quit or leave. Wow. They work so hard, and you know, to me, having an employee, they're more important than I am. They're much more important. Yeah. You know, they get health insurance, dental insurance, they get five weeks paid vacation. We do employee retreats, like for our 25th anniversary. I took the entire company to Disney World with their families, all expense fees. You have to treat people nice. It makes a yeah, world so you, of difference. You looking to hire? <laughs> so I'm closing up I the should. studio in Palm yeah, Beach. I'm up north. I'm right That's down it. here. Are you in Palm Beach, California Palm Beach. or Florida? No, Florida. Florida uh, I love it. I'm a Disney obsessed. So <laughs> like, love it. We're building a house in Orlando. I can't oh, wait. Okay. Right inside of Disney We're World. an hour away. I'm going to be coming up. Oh, I'm going to take a workshop. I'm going to be I'm, I'm going to be. I did a wedding right by you guys. I'm coming to Orlando March uh, 20th. I love it there. Just right. It's such... Florida is so beautiful with the weather, and, and it's a great place to Well, shoot. I make fun of him because he's in Jersey. He's got it like, you know. He's miserable like deep, I am. Yeah, he's yeah. this deep in snow, and I'm like, you know, I'm sweating. It's like he's, he's six over here. I got the air, air conditioner on. I, that's the way it should be. It was 80 during January. Just a great right. place. We do almost 200 weddings a year in and around Disney. 
Exactly. So I, I just this love it. This is a destination, it, yeah. and there's, there's brides are continuously coming in. We do a lot of brides that are coming. We just did one from Italy. We have a lot of people that are coming in. They want to go and have a, a wedding on Palm Beach or down in Miami, whatever. We do it. I've done a couple yeah. there that um, we started getting recommended at. I think it's the Ritz Carlton down Could by be, the yeah. one that was rerented with the big spa. Yep. And we love it. It's such a yeah. beautiful place. It's on the ocean. It's the gorgeous. breakers and all the rest yeah. of there. It's beautiful. Beautiful there. Yeah, I love it. Love they it, get love it. it. They, they do get, get it. it. And they take care of their brides. And they take care of the photographers and staff too. Some of the places you go to, not so much. Yeah. They, they're, they're good. It's they amazing. Get it. I've been fortunate enough to do weddings all over the world and as much as I love my New York base and everything it's amazing in other parts of the country the relationships that are built but it's also amazing the price difference my price difference for what I charge in New York I may get a third of that in Florida That's yeah, right. sure. and That's when exactly we started right. doing work in Texas the same thing applied but eventually it got to about the halfway point it's That's different good. wherever you are yeah. but it's like anything else photography this business is so hard now because everybody who picks up a camera says, sure. I'm a photographer, I can do this, uh, I'm gonna I'll shoot on P for professional, TTL, and I'm gonna give it away. They don't realize what it takes. And that's one of the reasons my workshops have become so important, because I teach something that really matters, posing, lighting. Yeah. You know, if you don't know how to pose, you're dead, you can't create. No. If a wedding's terrible and the bride says, my pictures look nothing like you showed me, you can't be like, oh, I'm sorry, your wedding sucked and, and you're huge. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna yeah, work yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah, accept no, no. that as an answer. No. So you gotta all, learn you have to, to make create. something out of nothing. Yeah. You're well, exactly right. Having right. more people coming into the industry, I don't have a problem with that. As long as they're being trained, they understand what what it means to be a professional photographer. They understand the posing and the lighting. Yep. Because you know, you when you have people that come in and start hacking, yep. it makes it takes the whole And they're giving everything down. away. Yeah. And the cream and that, always rises to the top. Anyways, I agree. Right? But I think it also comes down to there's too many secretive photographers yes. who don't want to share it. Like the way I look at it, these people here aren't my competition. No. They're only going to help me in the sense of if they get really good, that inspires me to be better. Absolutely. I can't worry exactly about right. what you guys are doing. i got to worry about what I'm doing. Right. And as long as I focus on me, I'm going to get better. I think the more we share with each other, if photographers weren't so secretive and started sharing and working together, we wouldn't have this problem that we have now. We've ultimately help to, to really push our industry down. And that, you know, that's an interesting point. I remember shooting film from the beginning, and yep. film photographers were very, very tight-lipped. You would never talk to another photographer about any kind of Crazy. secret of what you're doing from dark room to burn. It doesn't matter what it is. I think the digital age has really brought teachers fantastic educators like yep. yourself Thank you. to the market and been able to train people, other photographers, in such a way that they can get better because there is more of an open platform and it's not so you know, tight. Well, in the social say, age, social media, I mean, all that stuff has really helped with all of our businesses. You know, it helps with that interaction. It helps to meet people. You yes know. and no. I'm going to disagree a little bit. As much as I love what technology has done, I think it's also hurt us a little bit in the sense that most people are like, oh, let me Facebook you, let me email you, let me tweet to you, let me text you. What happened to personal relationships? Well, true. Yes. It's true. Right. Yes. Get on the phone. One of the things I do that have made a world of difference, and I never thought it would, is every appointment we get, which on average is about 25 appointments a day between all the studios, no matter where I am in the world, I call and confirm every appointment myself. Every person who comes in, I call and say thank you to. Right. It's a world yes. of, I just call and say, hi, I'm Doug, I'm calling from Pack and Photographer, I'm the owner. I just want you to know how much we appreciate you coming in. We really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, we know you have a lot of choices. Hey, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to call me. Here's my cell. Here's my email. Right. Thanks again, and I wish you the best of luck with you. Do you know how many people call back and say, I can't believe you called me. Yes. Thank you so yeah. Yeah. much. It's about connecting. This business, whoops, sorry, <laughs> was built on personal relationships. Exactly. And we forgot it. I started shooting when I was 16. How good could I have been? I was right. terrible, but people liked me, right. so they liked their images. Yep, it's that personal relationship, absolutely. And yeah. being able to do that one to one in comparison to, you know, the, the quick email or the you know, the automatic sending of some type of email or whatever. The postcard, let's say, or the phone call or that, that personal interaction. Yeah. Connecting. Invaluable. It's invaluable too in the sense if they like you, they're gonna recommend you. Absolutely. If people ask me, how'd you get so big? Where's the best place to advertise? It's a simple answer with the people you already have. Yeah, word of mouth. Use referrals. the people you have. We pay nothing for advertising, zero, zilch, because we get our clients talking about us. Yep. We give them incentives. You know, a, a wedding wire or the not ad 
does nothing compared to what a wedding wire or a not review would do for you. Right. Get your clients talking about you. Right. I firmly believe this. It's, it's better to give a little bit more than you thought you should have than a right. little less than you should have. Right. Right. We talk a about that all the time. Super fans, right? Yeah. Yeah. Making your client into a super fan so that they talk to their friends and their friends' friends. And sometimes the photography is not as important as that personal relationship. They like you. They like your photographs, just like you're saying. Yep. It's very, very important. They become that pushy salesperson for you. Exactly. Absolutely. It, it makes a world of difference. You know, I think of people more focused on connecting and the different things like that, it would change the industry. I think if people understood that what a photographer is, they forgot what it was. Ansel Adams never intended for his work to be a screensaver. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's how, for sure. It's crazy. Right. We got it. We're, we're glorified paper salespeople. If I stand out here and say, how many of you sell prints or albums? They're like half, yeah, maybe less. Right. And that number's hurting us. I get those wedding market surveys, and this is a terrible number. In 2007, there were 2.4 million weddings in the US. Right. 2.4. Now, in 2000, and mm. here you go, 1.6 million of them were photographed by professionals. Wow. In 2011, right, right. 1.6 million of which under 600,000 were photographed by professionals. Yeah, that's always Uncle Buck with the camera, the good, no wait, that's yeah. good camera. That's us doing it to ourselves. Right. I, right. I would love to blame other people because right. it's easy. Everybody feels like they're entitled to say it's someone sure. else, but we need to separate ourselves and do something that they can't do. That's why I'm so adamant about posing. When I first started coming here, there were all the photojournalists and saying, oh, it's dead, don't do it. I've done it, I've survived, and it's grown because people want to look better. Right. Absolutely. That's, That's the way right. it works. That's right. Well, if, if, if it's in the budget and they're able to afford a quality photographer, they want to get the best they can get. You know, no doubt wanna, about it. They want to get, they, they don't want just somebody that's going to make a nice picture. If they can get a great picture for the same exactly. money, you know, exactly. then that's what they're going to do. Budget's always in it. Always an issue. It's always you know? an issue. And I think that's another problem. One of the things I tell photographers all the time is they're like, I want to make as much money as I can. I want to charge $5,000. Are you out of your mind? Isn't it better to be working than not working? Right. It's great to have $5,000, but if you're not working, you're making nothing. I'm not telling you to lower your prices, right. no. but I'm not telling you to shoot for the sky because 99% of the people aren't gonna buy it. You have to put yourself in their place. If you were getting married, you're a 20, 30 something year old, a wedding cost you thirty thousand dollars. When was the last time we saved twenty, thirty thousand in a year for this? Yeah, it's been a long exactly. time. Yeah. If we even did it, exactly. so why not start with something more basic that you make more profit on in terms of average, and then have enough confidence in yourself to say, "Hey, I'm going to upgrade them." Yes, we yes. upgrade our clients. Sure. We sold over two million dollars in frames last year. <laughs> why? Wow. Because I put myself in a situation to succeed. Right. Yeah. I create things. Sales are created by shooting the right images and taking the right sizes and shapes. Yeah, I love that. That's so critical because you take that original, the original shot or the original wedding, but the upsell of it, if you do such a great job and you're confident in your work, you know that they're going to be buying more. Yeah. If you're not confident in your work, then you're going to try to upsell them at the beginning and then kind of fall off in the back. But if you know that what you give them is great, they're it. going to be they're going to be buying it, buying that's it. Right. So many times, that's what I've done over the years. I've so I've done stuff sometimes just really cheap just to get in the door because I know I even tell them I said you know what I know you're going to be buying plenty. Mm -hmm. um, you're, this is what it's going to be, and that's it. You're going to be buying at least five or ten of these because they're going to be that good and just simply works. I agree, I, because you know what, there's other reasons. If you're someone who works with a catering hall or a wedding planner and you're paying them a commission, you know, and saying it's 10%, if you sell a $5,000 wedding, you're giving them $500 just to say, hey, go there. If you upgrade right. afterwards, you don't have to give them commission based right. on those items. So from a business standpoint, I think photographers, they don't pay attention enough. It's not a matter of how much money you make. It's a matter of how much you keep. And the idea yes, is to right. put things together in a way that's going to make it happen. And what I mean is, I don't think you can sell it. I think it's you have to sell yourself, get them to like you, book you, but pitch or sell themselves. Prime example, if I ask photographers, you put your images online, they say, of course we do. Do you make any money? No. Why don't you make any money online? Uh, well, nobody comes and looks at the site or nobody you know, buys anything. I don't know why. Is, is the person at table 30 buying a picture of the bride and groom or grandma? No, but if you go on a cruise, you get the worst photo of you ever taken in your life, you're dressed up, do you buy it? Yes. yes. So why aren't we doing those things? Right. We're taking too many images that don't sell. 
This is a business. This finger no longer moves unless I make money. Look. That's right. That's right. Yeah, because That's right. why? I'm doing I love my job. Sure. I love my craft. I love the memories. But I have to support my family. If I'm going to leave my house 20, 30, 40, 80 times a year, got to make a living doing it. Yep. So it's for me to say, oh, you look really beautiful. And, and you are beautiful. Sure. But, I appreciate you know, it. You're sexy, you're beautiful. <laughs> if I have my choice, you're my guy. Nice. So yes, very much. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm married to a little Indian woman, you're safe. But, <laughs> but ultimately, I'm not. you're gonna look at me like, he's trying to make money. But you gotta take it the right way. You gotta create a story. And if right. you do that, you're gonna be successful no matter what. That's great That's good. information. Yeah, this is Inspiring. great. This Thank is, you for having me. Yeah, and more Thank than just a, an interview. It's, it's education. That's, it's education. Thank and that's, you. What, that's what we always try Where's to do. Where's the best place to find you? Uh, Obviously, well, we're at WPPI right now, but online. I wish I could say call me because <laughs> it would be better. <laughs> ring I, me. I could be found. Just ring me. Hook up. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, the hashtag Doug Gordon Photo. Okay. Uh, Facebook, Doug Gordon Workshops. Or friend me at Doug Gordon Part 2. And of course, our website, www.DougGordonWorkshops.com. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you Thanks very so much, much. gentlemen. So Pleasure. Much. Yes, Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks Absolutely. for having me. Thank you Great so job, much. guys.